There is an old tradition of leave-taking in the west of Ireland. Before departing home and Clahan, emigrants brought their fire to the fire of a neighbour in the hope that one day they would come home to reclaim it and with it their place in the old world. For hundreds of thousands who fled Ireland during the Great Famine in the 1840s, that homecoming would never take place. Patrick Caveney, a Gaelic-speaking emigrant from Cross in South Sligo, and his family were selected for assisted emigration. They were told that they were going to Canada, where they would get new land. Caveney, his wife Sarah, their teenage son Martin, and five daughters under the age of ten were given two weeks to prepare for the journey. They left their home in Cross on April the 3rd, 1847. They would never return. The story of the Carricks has been preserved for five generations by the Cavanagh family in the outer Gaspé. A great-great-grandson of Patrick Caveney, Georges Cavanagh is a French-speaking Québécois historian who is deeply proud of his Irish heritage. It's a story of remembrance that took five generations to create and 168 years to bring home to a fire that waited for its makers in the old world. <laughs>